Well, good morning, good morning. Today we are in Agra. How excited are you? Oh, super excited. I mean, hey, guess what? There's a little kind of tiny attraction here we might be visiting. What <laughs> Maybe is that? the Taj Mahal? Maybe. Mm. We, might, we might work in a little time for that. <laughs> Still haven't figured it out, but... Okay, so here's the deal. The Taj Mahal is actually closed on Fridays, and yep. we didn't realize that until we got here. So we can't visit today, but instead we're going to visit Agra Ford and yeah. maybe the baby Taj Mahal. Yeah, and the good news is I've actually been to Agra before, and I've been to Agra Fort, and it is one of the most impressive I've ever visited in India. If this fort was outside of Agra, it would be a standalone attraction in other cities. So we're gonna go check that out today, and maybe check out the Taj from across the river. So, yeah, and then we have to buy tickets for the Taj. Can't forget that. <sighs> right, so, so busy day actually. Let's begin! Agra Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that draws big numbers, especially on a Friday when the Taj is closed. Admission to Agra Fort is through the Amar Singh Gate, which is the South Gate. Outside the gates, you'll find guides offering their services, so that's something you can keep in mind if you're looking to learn about the fort's history and architecture. So we've been getting all of these like teaser views of the Taj. Last night we had it during dinner and today we have this and I think we're gonna get one more vantage point later on in the day. And then finally tomorrow we actually visit it. Once you walk through a series of gates, you'll find yourself in a giant complex of marble palaces, inner courtyards and gardens, complete with wild monkeys running along the fort's walls. You also get some pretty cool views of the Taj Mahal off in the distance, but we'll show you an even better lookout point later in this video. So we think this lady is a gardener because it looks like she's picking weeds, but she's also taking a little break at the same time. Just pulling out some grass! Good evening, we are back from our day of sightseeing at the fort. Our hotel room is a little bit messy for a tour right now, but we're gonna head downstairs because we're having dinner and we're actually doing a homestay, so they just finished cooking up something really nice. So yeah, we're gonna share a meal with all the other guests and it should be good, let's go. Well, Sam, are you ready for dinner? Ready for dinner. Always ready for dinner. How hungry are you? Always, I'm always hungry. Hungry hippo mode. Hungry hippo mode. Let's go down. We stayed at the Coral Court Homestay, which is a beautiful property run by a very kind and attentive couple, and one of the highlights of that stay was the food. We had the most delicious vegetarian curries made with eggplant, pumpkin, and paneer, and I'm still thinking about those meals to this day. Well, good morning. Today is finally the big day. It big is day. Saturday. The Taj is open again. We got our tickets this morning. Sam was up at hey. 7 in the morning. Yeah, my dad and I, up. we went and grabbed them. And yeah, and so then we had a nice leisurely breakfast. So we decided yeah. not to go right at sunset. We decided to yeah. take it a little bit easy. Um, but now we're here and really excited to go inside. Let's go in. So first impressions, we've only just entered through the east gate and we're already like, wow. We haven't even seen the Taj yet, but the buildings leading up to it are exquisite. So I can't wait to see the Taj itself. The Taj Mahal was built by Shah Jahan as a memorial for his third wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died giving birth to their 14th child in 1631. He wrote that the beauty of the structure made the sun and the moon shed tears from their eyes. And while I may not have shed a tear, it's a sight that did not disappoint. So it's not a very long walk from the entrance to the Taj, but we've been taking our time and slowly meandering, taking lots of family photos and selfies. So we are finally here, now we're gonna go drop our shoes off and finally enter the Taj Mahal. Okay, so we got these fancy little shoe covers to wear um, once we step onto the Taj Mahal. So let's put these on. So classy. Do they fit your big oh. feet? <laughs> yep. They do fit, but man, this is just gonna look really funny. There's one. They look like elf um. shoes. Oh. Look at that. There's the other. Parade around them. Ah. Show me your elf shoes. Ba -da 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 -da. Elf shoes. Fashion forward. Let's go in. 
we're going to cover up them crocs and socks. Crocs and socks. Crocs and socks and shoe covers. Ooh la la. Now let's show off the full outfit. Oh yeah. Sam I'm looks ready. like he's going skiing. I'm ready? <laughs> ready? here for two hours he says all right let's do some thoughts from the Taj Mahal Sam has been here before yeah this so. is my second time well the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, it's so nice visiting it healthy the last time I came here <laughs> I had food poisoning and I kind of had to drag myself here on the final day that I was in Agra so it was really nice coming here feeling healthy being able to just walk around and take it in slowly that's mm -hmm. been really nice and it's one of those attractions that lives up to the hype like there's some some places yes. you visit in person you're like oh you know what not as amazing as I, I would have hoped but uh, the Taj Mahal is simply incredible and the thing that I really think is cool is that when you view it from different vantage points, up close, from the side, from behind, from inside inside the complex to outside of the complex, say on a rooftop, it's just it's incredible from just about anywhere and it, it's just it's one of those sites that, that is just so worth visiting. So we are doing lunch with a view once again. Check it out, we've got the Taj Mahal. After visiting the Taj, we exited through the south gate and found a restaurant that boasts one of the best views in town, Sonia Palace Restaurant. The food took a long time to come and it was decent, but we were really here for the views. The danger of standing under trees, a bird just pooped in front of me. It missed me by like a centimeter or two. But anyways, <laughs> hello. hello, it is day three in Agra and today we're actually taking the night train to Varanasi so yeah. we have all day to do So stuff. yeah, we're, we're basically killing time. Uh, mm -hmm. We did the two main things that we wanted to. We wanted to obviously go to the Taj and we also wanted to go to Agra Fort. So yeah. today there's a couple cool things that we've got planned. We're going to be doing a nature walk. Which Taj is, nature walk. Yeah, and it's right by the east gate of the yeah. Taj. Uh, it was only 100 rupees to get a ticket, so mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. And then later on today, we're hoping to catch sunset from the baby Taj, so <laughs> overlooking the Taj. So, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. All right, let's go enjoy the walk and avoid bird poop, hopefully. So, this nature walk is located just east of the Taj Mahal. And that means we get some pretty cool views. And we've spotted a peacock. Hello, peacock. Hello. What did we just see? We saw a peacock. Are you going to sing Katy Perry's peacock for us? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the Taj Nature Walk is one of Agra's best kept secrets, and we only learned about it thanks to our homestay family. This nature walk was a stark contrast to Agra's busy streets and we hardly saw anyone there, save for a few couples enjoying the views. If you have time for it, I would suggest going in the morning when the light hits the Taj just right. It's one of the best lookout points in Agra. Alright, so that was a really fun walk. I think we all enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, we, we had some a lot of fun making silly poses, you know, by mm -hmm. the Taj. And it was just really quiet and chill. And after, yeah. you know, a really busy day at the Taj yesterday, it's nice to kind of have a relaxing moment here at the park. Later that afternoon, we went to visit the Baby Taj, which is a white marble mausoleum covered in semi-precious stones. This structure was built for the grandfather of Mumtaz Mahal, and she is the woman the Taj Mahal was built for. There are pigeons inside the tomb. afternoon in town. Sam is filming and I am interrupting his shot. Come yes. join the frame. So we made it to the baby Taj Mahal. We're here. 
it's it's different from the Taj. How would you describe it? Oh, it's like so much smaller. I yeah, mean, a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be worth coming here first, I would say, rather than what we're doing at the end. Are you but feeling underwhelmed? It's a little underwhelming <laughs> after you've seen the Taj, to be honest. But I mean, we, we are killing time waiting for the train, so we're lucky to have a few things left to do. Yeah, I've noticed this one has a lot of um, designs and geometric patterns on the exterior. It's a lot more elaborate. Yeah. As opposed to the Taj Mahal. That's one of the cool things. Also, yeah. there's there's far fewer people here, so yeah. it's nice to just be able to walk around and have it more to yourself. Day is the Maytab Gardens, which are directly behind the Taj Mahal, so you get some pretty cool views. The Taj is hiding just behind us over there. Just over there, and unfortunately, we can't stay until sunset when it's supposed mm -hmm. to be spectacular. It's uh, we're a couple hours away from that, but we still thought we'd come and check it out, anyways. Yeah, so that's a wrap from Agra. We really enjoyed our time here, and there's definitely a lot more to see than just the Taj. And uh, hopefully, we were able to show you just a little bit of that. And yeah, next up is Varanasi, so see you soon. We've got a long train ride ahead. <laughs> Ciao for now.